Hey guys, welcome back to Ghost of Tsushima. I think we're very close to something very impactful happening within the story. We've only got one more journey within the map, one more main story journey. And I think that's going to be the conclusion of the first act or the act that we're in now. I think. I'm not too sure. But uh, I'm excited. And I'm excited to uh, see what happens. We are now here at the uh, Great Golden Temple, I believe they call it. Something like that. So I came over here and I fast traveled. By the way, at first I was kind of confused about the fast traveling. But there is a lot of fast traveling in this world. Like literally any little temple that you go to. You can fast travel anywhere and it is amazing literally almost anywhere you can fast travel to which is really really good but i came to the swordsmith ready. because we've got the katana upgrade available and when you hover over these temples over at the mini map or not the mini map the map you'll actually see the game will tell you that you have an upgrade available so we're going to upgrade the katana and it's going to drastically yeah, increase our damage which i feel like we kind of need it already all right because we almost got our butts kicked and why did it get so dark all of a sudden? Hmm. My lord, you made it. Yes, I did. Remember this guy? This is the guy here. that we saved. Stayed off the roads, just like you said, Lord Sakai. I'm glad you got here safely. How is your little one holding up? He's braver than his father. People didn't believe it when I told them a samurai sent us here. Take care of yourself. And the little one. The people here don't have much to offer, but we'll do everything we can to help. See that? That's so cool. I told you. Oh, so cool. All right, so right now if we go to the map, we're actually quite far. So I think I'm gonna fast travel over here, just so we can get there a little bit quicker, because we've got a pretty long ways to go. And just like that, wow, that was. That was very fast. Okay. Um, that was excessively fast. If you don't believe me, I dropped my scuff and I put a regular PS4 controllers because on my scuff controller, I don't have the rumble pads. So I wasn't able to use the suits and just overall all the features. Um, there's like a feature in this game that you need to use the rumble pads. And since I don't have the rumble pads on my scuff controller, just for this game, I have to pretty much use a regular ps4 controller hey, what was that oh that's a clan of bandits or whatever we want to call them got no time for you got a very important task i must complete i think we're right here i think that's her little house oh this is cool one of the things that sucker punch said is that they want they treated the world of this game like it was its own character and honestly when you play this game whenever you guys start playing it you'll see it feels Jin, like you found me like it's an actual character the world feels alive and it feels really cool so let me just make sure that there's nothing here i wouldn't want to tear up her place but i do want to steal some of her goods i'm not even gonna lie right now i know we you know we don't really know each other like that but uh I'm really trying to see if you got some supplies. <laughs> Is there anything here for me at all? Okay. Maybe not. Oh, hold on. Hold on. You handle that well. I should have heard him coming. Let myself get distracted. These people saw Mongols marching prisoners upriver. They had a blacksmith with them. Your brother? Sounds like it. They were taking him to a camp near the Canada Inlet. I know the place. All right, we're gonna have to go save her brother. And he's a blacksmith, so that's gonna be fun. We also get a new ability from her, the Warrior's Code. When we finish this mission, I think we can sneak up behind people and do like Did stealth kills. Did you find kills. any samurai to free your uncle? I found two warriors, Sensei Ishikawa and Lady Masako Adachi. You've been busy. Oh yes, I have. I've been very, very busy. Beach and overlooked by the Mongol prison. Haka can camp. help you after we save him. Hard to believe I might see him soon. He's lucky to have you. He might disagree. That's what siblings are for. What about you? Any brothers or sisters? Lord Shimura is my only family. 
What will you do when he's free? Take a breath. Because then I'll know there's hope for our island. You feel that strongly? I've watched him win victory against impossible odds. And after I... your brother is free, what then? Honestly, I haven't had time to think about it. I really want to, like, You're scavenge well. all these places, How but... Are your wounds? Mostly healed. Your bandages did the trick. You don't share much about how you feel, do you? I suppose you're right. My uncle taught me that a samurai masters his emotions. Like you master a horse. Or a blade. That's a hard way to live. It's not supposed to be easy. Anyways, I wanted to... I was trying to say... I want to scavenge all these places, but... I'm here hoping that eventually we'll get to them. Sometime ahead, when we're playing the, the story, we'll come so back and visit them. Okay, we're right here. Yep. There's the camp. Tough to get inside. The Mongols threw that place together in days. There has to be a way in. Let's look. Where's the camp? Is it the one up top? Oh no. Hold on. It's that one over there. Ooh. We need to reach Taka without putting him in danger. We'll find a safe approach. Defense is a lack of formidable. You can scale the rocks on that side. If they're loose, they might give way. Alert the guards. Hmm. The front wall there is still under construction. Could be a way in. But I mean, if we got guards, how are we gonna sneak in there? Look for a gap in the front wall. Slip inside. And cut down the Mongols where they stand. If something goes wrong, they'll kill the prisoners. I've seen them do it. We have to go in quietly. Like thieves. What's wrong with that? <laughs> Before the samurai, this island was ruled by criminals. We changed that by creating order. Delivering justice in the open. We live by a code of honor. And sometimes we die by it. Warriors like my father, who just wanted to give us a safer home. I want the same thing. But we have to fight back. I promised my uncle I'd never break our code. Then bend it. To save my family. And what's left of yours? Let's get a closer look. See what we're up against. We should wait until it gets darker. Oh, this is going to be a nice, fun, sneaking around mission. Move. Find a gap near the camp's gate. All right. So we're going to head that way. Taka. He's been through a lot, even before the invasion. But you took care of him. Someone had to. He hated when I stole. It was that or starve. I didn't have a choice. I didn't choose to be a samurai either. But going against my instincts. My code. It's better than getting wiped out by the Mongols. We have to fight back. Any way we can. Through here. Oh, God. They see us, they'll kill the prisoners. Then we better stay quiet and open their throats. This is where we learn the new ability, maybe. It's right, Jin. Not be afraid. You kill them if you must. Yeah, we definitely just learned that. I don't think that was possible before. Bro, what the hell? Imagine just being on guard and I don't know where you feel like you're getting stabbed in the neck and just freaking die like 10 seconds later. That's terrible. Um, I see. We're going to learn from our what uncle. What do you think, Jin? 
The bear's running with a limp. Your arrow wounded him. This is when a beast is most dangerous. Remain alert. Yes, uncle. Keep after him. Follow the bear's tracks with uncle. Dude, I really like this. How this game gives you like these throwbacks. Holy hell, this is cool. Let's just take a look at this. I mean... <laughs> how do you not appreciate this? Holy crap. Alright, guys. I don't think bears lived here. They don't. But the fighting in Yarikawa drove some this way. So it's the rebels' fault. We should feed them to this bear as punishment. We are not barbarians, Jin. Holy hell. Hunting for a bear, are we? I think we killed a bear on the last episode. It took us like four arrows. But I don't think we necessarily killed it the way we're about to kill it now. I like how you can see the footprints on the mud. That's cool. I know a lot of games do that now, but it's always cool when games keep adding that, you know? Paying attention to detail. Immersing us players in the experience of the unknown. Legacy of the Samurai. The bear stumbled here. Is it dying? No, but we're getting closer. I mean, no, he's bleeding to death. Stay ready, Jin. Yes, uncle. If it's still alive, can I take the shot? Prove you can control your emotions. Then, perhaps. Dude, I'm sorry, but I'm just like... Oh, more tracks here. I'm mesmerized at how well this looks right now. Holy hell, dude. I feel like this thing's gonna come at us. Careful. He could still be alive. This arrow should not have killed him. Oh, Look, Uncle, there's a gash in his side, not from an arrow. Oh, an assassin from Yarikawa. Traitor, you would stab the chido in the back. Rosakai. Control yourself. We are not criminals like this man here. We are samurai. He tried to kill you. He must answer for this crime with his life. And look him in the eye. And teach him that samurai never acts out of anger or fear. And take his life with honor. Look at his hand on the ground. <laughs> Holy hell. When we fight, we face our enemy head on. And when we take their life, we look them in the eye with courage and respect. This is what makes us samurai. Only cowards strike from the shadows. Shit, I want to be a sapper right now. <laughs> Damn, that's pretty much telling, telling him only cowards strike from the shadows, and that what we're that's what we're doing now. <laughs> I guess we're a hybrid samurai at this point. We're bending the laws. Jin. What's wrong? Let's find your brother. Yeah, that's not that's not what he does, you see? Let them see us. Use all your senses. Think and move like a thief. All right. So, focus hearing. Press the pad to use focus hearing. We're really nearby enemy positions while Find Take. Taka. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Oh, this just got a whole lot nastier. Oh, yes. I mean, these guys are bad anyways. Who gives a crap? We can bend the rules a little bit. All right, hold on. There's a couple here. Take this guy out. Ooh. Man, these kills feel really good. I'm gonna sneak up behind this guy right here. And assassinate him. I like how you can pretty much crouch at a really fast pace and still not alert the enemy. So that's really good. If there's enemies around here. There's a lot of loot in this camp, dude. Holy hell. Look at all the supplies we're gathering right now. Oh, you're gone, bro. You gone, bro. Make sure there's nobody around. Oh hell yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. Let me loot this guy. Oh, good. Oh my god. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, once I'm done killing all of these guys, I'm going to search the temple thoroughly and get everything that I possibly can. Let's go in the tall grass. Oh shit, what the fuck? Yeah, there's one guy right there. All right, good. There, a prisoner. Taka? Let's find out. No, it's not Taka. Oh man, this feels this feels freaking awesome. <laughs> Let's go. I strike from the shadows. Here. We need to go. We'll talk when it's safe. Come on. Oh, they're in here. There's somebody here. Indeed. And there's one sleeping here too. Or is he what? Oh that guy's dead. Never mind. Bro. Mongol artifacts. What is that? Made up of curds boiled in fresh milk. Resulting mixtures combined with sugar and fruits before being dried and sliced into various shapes and patterns. Actually, it does sound that bad when you sugars. Uh, records, one out of 40 collected. Conversation with Con 1. What can a simple monk like me hope to accomplish by recording my conversations without, uh, with Koto Khan? Koton Khan? My aim is to document the world's, uh, the words and deeds in order to counter the natural suspicions of the people of Tsushima, foster mutual understanding, and thereby prevent more bloodshed. The Khan has been most receptive on these talks and surprisingly frank on a range of matters, though I am a mere translator and Japanese to boots. His ambition is boundless as any shogun's, and he has a keen sense of history and his place in it. At the same time, he is eager to learn more about our culture and history. Such an intriguing man. It's always so important to read these letters when the, in games like these they just give you so much backstory and make you understand everything so much better. Okay, I'm going to go over here just to make sure. Hey, let's get to the river. Let's get to the river. We'll I thought it was going to be there. something up there. Are you Please. with the straw hat Ronin? I was. Cut ties with them after they started running low on rations. Lord Shimmer has been captured, and I could use some extra swords to free him. Are you looking for work? No, but the other straw hats may be. <laughs> Last I heard, they were hunting Mongols in Tsitsu Prefecture, by the coast near the Kishi grasslands. Oh, that's cool. 
This man flat out said no after we just. This way. Bob, how you're rescuing his ass. We're looking for Bro, you brother, owe me. A blacksmith named Taka. Don't know him, but a lot of prisoners move through here. Okay, we're we going through the water or what? You said they were moving the slaves. Where? They mentioned Asimov Bay. And there was a blacksmith in the last group. Young man with a beard. From Yarikawa, maybe. You'd better be right. I hope you find your blacksmith. Taka's alive in Asmo Bay. The town is surrounded by walls. Rushing in without a plan will only put him in more danger. I have a friend who might be able to get us inside. Find him. The sooner we rescue Taka, the sooner we save my uncle. Jin. Taka will forge whatever tool you need as soon as he's free. But after that, we're leaving the island. You've seen what the Mongols are doing here. Lord Shimura can stop them. Stay. Help us fight for a home. Home is wherever Taka and I go. Damn, dude. My friend lives in Asmo Prefecture. On the border with Tutsu. I'll find you there. I know this wasn't easy. Going against your code. I did what I had to. Thank you. You deserve better than this. Convince your people to stop resisting, and you can walk free. Stop wasting my time. Kill me. Mm, you think you've lost everything. But your nephew is still alive. Jin. My men control the roads. They build war camps near your towns. They see everything. And they will find him. Lord Sakai will fight until his last breath. As will I. You love him. Just as you love your people. You're a father to them. Will you abandon your children? I won't make them your slaves. Holy hell. The warrior's code. A new technique has been earned. Journal updated. Four tales updated. Okay, so the broken blacksmith. Uh, blood on the grass. Um, major legend increase. That's my kage. I want to go to this camp real quick, honestly. I should have done this earlier. I just didn't think we were going to leave it. I should have just looted it after I killed everyone. But I want to go here real quick. And I want to loot what we got in this camp. I know we probably don't have much left because I looted the majority of it. But I do want to make myself go and search a little bit just right before we leave. So we've got some supplies right here. I'm interested. How do we open these cages? No. Let's go up. Okay, nothing here. Perfect. How about in this little tent? There we go. Yeah, so from now on, what I'm going to do whenever is 20 supplies. Holy hell. Whenever I'm just raiding a camp or just kind of opening it up in the sense of like liberating it, I'm just going to search it. Search everything as I go. Because then having to come back is kind of tedious. And that's pretty much it, honestly. I think we've searched about everything. That was a house. What do we 
got. Oh, look at this. Hell yeah. Okay, nothing. Aw, oh, dude, that's cool. Just like AC, dude. Oh, supplies. So as most of you know, we're going to need a lot of supplies in order to be upgrading our character with abilities and, and all that stuff. So <clears throat> it's going to be really, really helpful if we start looting these spots. Let's go over here. There's another house over here. I'm going to loot this one up real quick. Once we do this, we'll fast travel and uh, get out of here. Get some bamboo. What do we got? Anything else? That is pretty much it. <laughs> got some supplies. Another one of these contraptions. Ah, uh, these people really don't have a whole lot of anything. I'll have you seen the guy. birds, Lord Sakai? What birds are you looking for? The golden ones. Songs that remind you of more peaceful times. Ah, oh, they were my mother's favorite. She used to say they knew our island better than any other creature. I believe it, my lord. If it weren't so dangerous, I'd follow one. See where the golden bird leads me. Maybe I'll do just that. But you should wait until our home is safe once more. I will, Lord Sakai. Thank you. Hmm. Okay. Alright, so I just wanted to provide a little bit of extra gameplay there. We're gonna go back to Yuna. And I figured, let's just go and finish off her little journey. As opposed to going back to the Straw Hats and doing his journey. So we're going to finish off with her. And then we'll keep going. I think I've got to go up here. You got to kind of get used to the whole wind thing, right? Oh, look, it's a bird. It's guiding me somewhere. Hold on. Hey, 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 hey. Um Holy hell Yeah, you like that? <laughs> yeah <laughs> You bunch of punks Perfect. Just a couple of street dogs trying to kill me. I was chasing that freaking gold bird. Uh, these Tori gates lead to the Golden Summit Shrine Sanctuary of Amaterasu Kami of the Sun. Where's my horse and where's that golden bird we're chasing? There's a you golden so bird here. Boy. There it is. Trying to take me here. to hide oh, he'd be like wounded deer to the mongols this is all because of the samurai what happened to you there's a merchant working with the mongols they gave him an iron mark hmm. we tried to take it from him but he had too many guards this iron mark must be worth a lot to risk your lives for it whoever carries it is free to travel the roads without fear of being stopped by mongols I could find a use for that. You, you're welcome to it. We had to flee, but the merchant cart is still up the road. 
I'll look for this iron mark. Stay here and tend to your wounds. Hmm. Okay. Save it for later. So that's the thing that I can do later on, which is really cool. Now, when you get those, like, side tails, you can still do them later on, so... Definitely going to be something we're going to be taking a look at. <clears throat> I don't think there was any supplies here, though. Unfortunately. <laughs> oh, look at this, bro. Holy hell, this is beautiful. Are we going the right way? I think we are, right? Let me just make sure we are. <laughs> yeah. Dude, this map, this world is insane. Like, incredibly insane. Holy crap. Wind is guiding us this way. We're gonna keep on going. We gotta be careful here. Oh, this is so cool. Alright, 920 meters left. 900 meters left. I know I'm including a lot of the traveling, but th that's because, you know, the world is so massive and it's such a beautiful world that I feel like, I don't know, I feel like you guys should see it, you know, especially since these videos are probably going to be a little bit up earlier than normal. So, you guys can take advantage of it. Oh, that is not where we want to be right now. That is Mongol territory. We are not going there. We will be. Eventually, but as of right now, we are headed to Yuna. This world is freaking huge, dude. Oh god, there's two fucking bears after me. Almost there. I see the camp. here oh my god the attention to detail dude Ooh. we're gonna cross this camp eliminate the war camp general reclaim the stolen iron recover that's cool we'll, we'll be back don't worry oh dude this is insanely beautiful I know I've said that like 10 times already, but it just is. <clears throat> I could possibly be exactly where we're gonna, where we're going to be headed with Yuna. Honestly. I mean, we're fairly close. This is her spot right here. Talk is counting on us. <clears throat> I love the kid, but this is too dangerous. It will never work. We'll make it work. This the samurai? <laughs> you can call me Lord Sakai. <gasps> Forgive me, my lord. I am Kenji, upstanding merchant, renowned sake brewer. And the best swindler on the island. That's why he's going to help us rescue my brother from Azamo Bay. That town's a fortress. If the Mongols took it, We'll need an army to penetrate the walls. Or a single delivery of sake. <laughs> It'll never work. Get your sake ready. We'll discuss the plan on the move. <laughs> Let's have a drink first. Talk this through. This guy no, looks Kenji. awfully familiar. I don't know from where, but he looks very familiar. <laughs> a broken blacksmith. When we get close to the town, 
You can hide in the cart with the sake. The Mongols won't search it? Not anymore. It's the same sake delivery I always sell them. They love my dars. Dars, Mughal, give a dars now! You've been doing business with the enemy. I keep the Mongols drunk, and they let me keep my head. All set. Smart you man. You sure you want to go through with this? Anything for time. <clears throat> Okay, so are we supposed to go in there? How bad is the occupation in Azuma Bay? A few people fought back. The ones left alive are prisoners or slaves. But you never saw Taka? No. But someone's been working the forge the past few days. Maybe it's your brother. How long have you two known each other? Since I was too young to know better. I was <laughs> just starting to brew sake. Sold Yuna my first patch. <laughs> Tasted like piss, but it was cheap. For a while, I tried to get Taka's help selling it. Turned out he was too soft. People told him sob stories, and he'd give them sake, free of charge. <laughs> Dude, how cool is this? Holy hell. Mongols. Damn, you two better get in the car. There aren't many. I can handle them. No, Jin. Taka is so close. Please. All right. All right, so I knew eventually we're going to hide in here. Get me. Man, it until... They might search the car. You said they don't do that. The town gates? I've never seen them this far out here. My hand. Please. Please. Darts. Darts for Azamo Bay. Aha. Darts. Hurry up. Holy hell. Just a little farther. What was all that screaming? Doesn't matter. Keep it down. Is that what Taka's going through? Your brother's a skilled blacksmith. They won't treat him like that. You <clears> don't <throat> know that. Yo, this is crazy. <laughs> We're getting close. Quiet. This is a full-fledged fortress, bro. Where we part ways. Keep the Mongols drunk and distracted. I'll do my best. Stay safe, Genji. And you, Lord Sakai. Taka's waiting for us. Let's go. Once we're done, I'll meet you at the crossroads behind town. We need a vantage point to scout ahead. This way. Remember, no alarms. We do this quietly. Or the prisoners suffer. Got it. Well, I'll try. Honestly, I've never been really good at sneaking around in games so Look, by the gate. holy crap so if you've got leverage it's easier to stay hidden a slaver bastard he's inspecting the prisoners <clears throat> like their horses he might lead us to taka follow him okay good there he goes I thought she was going to lead the way. I was like, okay. <laughs> Where's this guy? Oh, this is fucking cool, dude. <laughs> Taka's probably fine. He wouldn't try to run. Let's go. 
Yeah, staying on the rooftops is definitely good for stealth. This is pretty awesome. I'm just going to mark them. Yo, what the heck? <laughs> Seems like he definitely is in charge. He's doing laps, making sure everyone's working. And all the prisoners are getting tortured. If I get my hands on this little son of a bitch, I'm gonna kill him. Can we climb up there? What the fuck was that, Jenny? Hold on. Get away, get away. Holy hell. Dude, I almost lost this man. Oh my god. Okay, just in case. I'm gonna stay around here. What is problem? Your blacksmith, Taka. He's working shoddy. I think he's sabotaging you. I know it. Taka's here. He is only blacksmith. No, I am a blacksmith too. And I do much better work. I cannot be too. I get rid of him. But be ready to prove yourself. That bastard. He'll kill Taka. Oh shit. So what are we going to do? We're going to kill him or was a guy just casually hanging there? It's fucked up. Mark is full of Mongols. I can't lose the slave if he reaches Taka first. Stay close, you know. I'll find a way through. Assassinate this one. What? Jim. We look them in the eye with courage. Only cowards strike from the shadows. Oh, dude, I'm sorry, I'll go. <laughs> but I've got to do this in order to save you, Uncle. Climb up here? Holy hell. Don't hurt me. Shut up, I'm not gonna hurt you. But if you keep talking, I will. <laughs> can I just can I not climb up there? There we go. Okay, we're gonna have to sneak on by. Alright, is there another way up? Let's see. Well, there's a lot of goods here. Alright, here we go. This is to go up. Right? You can go up from here, right? Yes? No? Mm. Holy hell. Okay, hold on. The slaver. Oh my god. Why can't we just assassinate him? Is it because he's like, oh, please? I need to rest. It's Taka. 
Sakai, he'll protect us. I need you to trust me, Taka. I need your help. I'll try, my lord. Well, dude, you got bodied. <laughs> you got your ass kicked. Well, these guys got no goods here. I'm telling you, man, this camp is full of stuff. I promise. There's a gate nearby. Then that's where we break out. All right, guys. It's time to get the heck out of here. Oh, no, they, they found the slaver. They'll kill us. We need to hide. No. Climb those crates. Holy hell. You better believe I'm climbing these fucking crates. You better believe I am. Where are we going? Kenji's waiting for us at a crossroads. Kenji's with you? If he made it out alive. We can't even call our horses. Meet up with Kenji at the crossroads. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Mission success. Dude, this world is like incredible. This is one of the craziest worlds I've ever encountered. Yo, I was just about to do a standoff. Thank God I didn't. I would have died. All right. But we got to go that way okay perfect follow the wind Jin follow the wind you guys are still behind me right okay good I'm gonna be doing this by myself almost got caught there dude Okay, that's where we gotta meet him at the crossroads. Meet me at the crossroads. <sighs> Made it. Horses, they're coming for us. Get in the tall grass and stay down. It's Kenji. Taka, you made it. Will you follow? Shut your no. ass up. But we can't go back to my place. It's crawling with Mongols. We should go. We have to put some distance between us and Azamo Bay. Wow, dude. Came in clutch with the horses and everything. <laughs> Haven't seen a Mongol since dawn. I think we're clear. We need to figure out where to go next. There's a place up ahead where you can see most of Izuhara. Everyone all right? I could use a drink and some sleep. I can help with one of those. Uh, let me get some resources here. Keep quiet. First time in days, I haven't felt like I was about to die. And honestly, this is one of the most sophisticated worlds my lord, in any open world I game. I am grateful. But how do you know Kenji and my sister? I owe you know my life. <laughs> we have something in common. This is amongst the greats of open world games so far. The world just really is very unique in itself. I I would only assume they keep making a part two and a part three as the years come with the same foundation of this world, which should be easier for them now that they've laid the foundation. If that makes any sense. After all this time, 
It took us all the way to episode three to rescue you, brother. I'm You're finally here riding with us. All night. Komatsu is just over that ridge. They have a forge. One of the best on the island. Good place to make tools. Maybe something to get gin over the walls of Castle Canada. What do you say, Taka? My lord, I'll do anything to repay you for freeing me. Thank you. Taka, Kenji, get some rest. We can't stay here long. How are you doing? I have my brother back. He's shaken up. Can you get him to Komatsu in one piece? With food and rest, he'll be fine. Your brother wasn't the only prisoner in Azumo Bay. You're going to save them. And make their captors suffer. Good. Right for Komatsu Forge. I'll join you when I can. Jin. Thank you. Hmm. A broken blacksmith. Let's see what rewards we get. I know we get uh, some pretty good. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. I think we get a little bit more, maybe. That's it. Ah, I guess the higher levels you go, the harder it becomes to increase that. Journal updated. Three tales available. Holy hell. Okay, so we've got here the stone arc crossing, the burned down logging, uh, logging base. Uh, the blood on the grass and then here we've got hammer and forge. I guess act one is actually pretty decently long I don't know how many Other things are within act one and how many acts there are in the game in general But dude, this game is awesome. Really? It's It's fucking fantastic. We also got a new gift. I guess we've got to go over there and redeem it I I truly hope you guys are enjoying it because this game is special dude where this game really stands out is the world. The world within this game is like something. I wouldn't say that I've never seen, but it's definitely at the top of the food chain when it comes to open world games. It is incredibly, incredibly stunning. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did, you want more daily videos on this game, be sure you guys uh, drop it a like and thank you. For watching thank you so much for supporting it uh okay i just can't stop just looking at this world i'm gonna stop now hopefully i'll catch you guys on the next one